All right, so welcome back to Delivered Coding. In today's video, we're going to store the user information in the Firestore, and we talk about some security rule for Firebase for Firestore as well. So, so we're going to store this information of the user when they, after they log in, let's say after they create account, that we want to get the their information set up in Firestore. So later on, we can show the list of the all of the user that use our applications. So for that, first thing first that you have to do, go to your Firebase uh, console project. So click on Firestore. So there's two types, Cloud Firestore and Real-Time Database. So we're interested in Cloud Firestore. The difference is that the Real-Time Database is, it like if in terms of charging, so like pricing, the Cloud Firestore is cost by per read documentation, like you how much you read documentation and it will charge based on that. And you can check out more on the pricing after using these two. That's the benefit uh, between this both, but the Cloud Firestore it, it's scalable and it and it's super easy to use. Both is really super easy, but I think if, like in terms of production, it we have to go with this Cloud Firestore. Now we have to, but I choose to go with Cloud Firestore. All right. So there's two type in here. You can see we, there's a production mode and the test mode. The test mode here, like we allow for like read in like two. Uh, secure, no security, which means like anyone with our uh, like database config can access our database. So we don't want this one. We can go with the production mode, and we can do the same, but we can change some rule a little bit. So yeah, so let's go with production mode, and then as you, you can see you can choose the location. So some location might not work for something. So if I go choose an Asia, like see deploy function. It's not yet available, depend on location. But I'm gonna choose uh, an A, a US control here. So the location here is doesn't matter. It's it's matter of some time, but in terms of like how we can access those data. If it's far away from us, then it's it, it's really it we cannot reach it. We can, like it sometimes it's slow. Sometimes cloud fire store is slow. It's because of the uh us because of we like it's far from our current locations. Now it's getting a, um, create a little bit, so now we can write some code. So when it's finished, so we can uh, do more. Okay, so now it's finished. So in Fire, a Cloud Firestore, there's a collection, like if you know like MongoDB, and uh, yeah, so it's kind of like, a, if in SQL, it, it feels like a table, it's entity. So I'm gonna call this one a user. So then there's gonna be an ID. So now I'm just demonstrate this one. We're not gonna use this one, just a demonstration. So this is an, an auto ID. And the field is what we want is to the avatar, let's say uh, username. So the string, let's say testing, something like that. So the value string, the testing here. So then we can save. And now you can see, so now we have a collection user and the document is this one. So the document here, if you are from SQL background, so it feel like it's uh, it feel like it is the a record for yeah, but it's a record, and then this is like an entity for us, like yeah. So that's it. So and now what we want to do is to when the user is click this one, we need to check that if the user here have uh, like in the collection here has the information of the current user yet or not. If it's not, we're gonna write it to here. All right. So for that, so that we can do it right here. So the rest information, the rest is gonna send right here. So after we authenticate, it's gonna send us a result. So I can console the logs right now. Result. Uh, not rest. Result of rest. And yeah. So let's see. So if I click, so if I authenticate correctly, it's going to uh, show me the the, uh, the 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 rest. Now it takes a little bit of time. Okay, you can see right here, we go into the home screen. So as you can see, like the credential right here. So we get all of the information. So if you go to user section, and then you will see we have an email, we have some display name, and also we have. A, pro a profile photo URL, which just come from either your GitHub profile account or from the uh, Google uh, account. 
So for that, we're going to insert it in a photo URLs and then display name. And yeah, so that's, that's, that's it we might be interested in. So for that, I'm going to create a separate function called can set, can set up a user profile. That it's going to pass the rest right here from this one. So I'm gonna call the rest right here. So setups, use a profile, and then we're gonna pass the rest in here. Okay. So what we do with the rest? So first we're gonna extract those information that we might need for user info. For user profile. So what we need so is an avatar. Is so avatar URL. Where it's come from? It's come from rest of user dot photo URL. All right, right now there's none of this, so we need not show. So photo URLs, and next we need the username is rest dot user dot display names. Nope. And okay. So next, what we need to do, we need we we need a date like when this one is created, so we can get a new date as well. A new date. So I mean like a current date here. New date is will return a current date that we are in right right now. All right, good. Uh, next thing is we need to call the service. This one is like call the user service to set the user info. All right, perfect. So for that, what we can do is go here and create a user service. Go to service. And in here, I create a file called user service.js. And in here, we can create a function that going to put the user. All, we're going to pass this info right here. And then we're going to put it to the fire, fire, fire base, the fire store. So uh, same thing with this one. I'm going to create a class for the user service as well. I'm gonna get rid of this guy and I'm gonna change this one to user service. User class is with uppercase user service. Perfect. So we can have, uh, so then we need to like say setups. So let's see the name of this one. I call it setup user profile. All right, setup profile. Setup profile of uh, put. Uh, user info. Okay, I call set up profile. And then the function, I'm going to use it with arrow function. So, okay, it's a, it can be a function. So, yeah, it, it is a function. So, what we need to do is we need to reference our, our database. So, we need to, where are we going to put this one? So, we're going to put it right here, the collection user. So for that, what we're going to do is to create a reference. So for that, I'm going to use constructor. This dot uh, user ref is going to be equal to DB. It's equal to Firebase dot Firestore. Oh, no, not Firestore. Um, we're going to do Firebase dot Firestore dot Collection. So this is collection what we interested in user and then the docs ID the docs here So we want to the docs name right here should be related to the current user ID So then we can fetch that easily. So if we do not put any doc specify any ID It's gonna auto generate the ID for us, but we want to set up those ID so we know that we can query from each user depend on the ID so for that, we can put the doc right here, and then we can get the UID from here. So where do we can get UID? It's from our constructor UID. So now, when we set up a profile, we need to get the user info. And when we get the user info, what we can do is to, we kind of call returns a user ref, user ref dot, this dot user ref dot set. Or we can just want to get first. Get. We try to get it first. Then we check if if the docs, if 
uh, exists or not. So let's say if I create already, so if I, if there's an existing user already, we don't have to create it anymore. So for that, we're gonna do check this if the docs dot exists. If not exists, so the doc is not exists. What we can do is to use a ref dot set with the user info that's passing in. So this is what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna return this one. All right. So now in the user os set our profile. When we call this function, we need to pass the we create the this user service. So user service so count user service equal to user service with the rest dot uid rest dot user dot uid so then we can pass this one so the use service right here we're gonna call use service dot all right let's see where it do not show me anything so import this one use service it should auto me set up profile with the user info right here. So this one is gonna be I'm gonna do async await. So we're gonna await this call whether it's success or not. So then we can after that we're gonna call this one. So when after we await this one, uh, so we're gonna return the user info so we can do let's say so the return type right here I think for now that should be okay so I'm, I'm gonna test this one I'm gonna uh, const rest uh, result so let's say result from here and I'm, I'm gonna control the lock the result I hope this working so again when we are service we call uh, set up user profile and then we get this one okay good so if I refresh if I click lock out I refresh I click in here I think there's some uh, there's an error with, with this one so user service cannot invoke with a new without new okay perfect if we go back and do it again I think uh, good so you can see that the error right here is say like missing or insignificant permission so we don't have permission to write because if we go to Firestore and then we go to rules and we can see that this one is full so like you know it we cannot write this one. So what I can change, I can change this to one to true. When I publish this one. Alright, so I think it should be if true. If true. So this it means that we can write to any document, we can read, we can do whatever with the document. We set this one to true. So we come back to this one in a moment, but for now I'm just show that we can't update to the put the data into the file store now I'm register again so it's got undefined which is okay let's go back to the data as you can see right here you get all the information but the result right here is gonna uh, return null the reason is like after this uh, got set right here uh, we do not return anything from this one so which is okay So I think what we can do is try to catch an error. Uh, okay, so what we can do is to... All right, so let me think about this one. All right, so that's okay. So now what we can do, we need to call this guy. And after that, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait this guy. I'll wait it and then we can auto dispatch right here. So we're gonna set up successfully and then this one. So right now I lock up. I could this time I sign 
and with the Google. So, voila. So we successfully, and then we go back to Firestore, and then we can see, like this is the new one, like this is my name, and then this is my URL and what we need. All right, great. So, yeah, that's it. So we now we still order user in Firestore. Okay, so now let's talk about security. So the security here, so we know that, so we don't want to be um, this one. It 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 doesn't uh, it it's it's all the way true. So I mean, like anyone with our database reference can write and or delete anything. Can can read and write to our database. They can delete it. Like you know, if they someone has copy my config and then they do this one, and then they can do it. But what we can do is we write some security when and and where and when and like who can access. And write and read to this database. So for that, we can do request dot not equal to null. So we're gonna publish this one. So after we authentications, so if I lock out, so I think uh, let's see, uh, what I can do is to delete it first. So because it's not gonna, it's it's going to check if it exists or not but sure it's already exists so I'm going to delete this documentation and then all right, I'm, I'm trying to lock in again so this time we did not set it to be true but we need to be authentication first after we lock in we authenticate after we authenticate then we can write this one if this one can write to the database which means we are good to go so I mean we our authenticate is implementation our rule security rule is implement for this one. So anyone without an auth, so request the auth here is it's it like it's full. It, it like if it uh, if it's not equal to null, so it means like we have an auth, then then we can write this one. All right, so yeah, I think that's it, it for the security rule and for this one. And there's a lot more for this. Uh, therefore, we're gonna talk more about the security rule in the future. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. And I hope you like this one. And don't forget to subscribe and share this one to your friend if it helps. And all right, see you guys in the next video.